everybody. I'm Kurt Yonke with ABC 15 News, and I just received a Motorola Zoom tablet as a loaner unit from our Verizon representative here, and I wanted to unbox this for you to show you what's inside. It's the latest tablet running Google Android version 3.0, also known as Honeycomb. So let's dive in and check out and see what's inside this box. So this is the one, this is on the Verizon network, so it'll be running on the uh, CDMA network. Uh, here's the actual unit. It has some film on the front which points out um, some of the different features here, and I want to go through that. First of all, uh, it's got an arrow pointing to the front webcam there. It's got an arrow pointing to the privacy LED, which must be a light that turns on when you're using the camera, so you know it's being used. Uh, we've got the volume keys on the side here, an LED on the bottom that tells you that the unit is charging, and a notification LED that must be uh, a light that, that lights up when you've got new notifications, uh, text messages, or emails, and the like. Let's go around the sides here. On the top, we have a SIM card slot, so it must be uh, able to do world phone functions, because on the Verizon network, you don't need SIMs, but if it's a world phone and, and supports data overseas, for example, then you, you'll use the SIM card there. We've got a headphone jack on the top uh, along this side. There's nothing going on there. On the bottom, we've got our, our ports here. It looks like a display port, a data port, a couple of contacts there. On the other side, we've got volume up and down buttons. And on the back, you got the Motorola logo there, your back camera, um, which is a, an HD camera, the one in the front, not quite as high def as this one, not, not quite as better, good as resolution. You've also got a light, um, a speaker there, it looks like some sort of lock button there, another speaker over on this side, and that's pretty much it. So that's the tablet itself. Uh, it's got a good weight to it, feels uh, you know similar in terms of weight. Uh, and feel and everything, just like the iPad. I have an iPad, so I know I'm used to that. And this definitely feels very much like the iPad. Let's see what else is in the box here. Uh, we've got a couple of user manuals. We'll go through these. You know, Verizon's got their manual. Motorola's got their manual. There's the little handouts and all the all the legal stuff in there. We've got the charger plug, pretty standard here. And you know what? This is interesting because this is not. Let me open this up. We're gonna have to use this. Let me um, show you this plug. This is not this is not micro USB. This is an actual um, just straight up power plug, which is interesting. You don't see that too often. Everyone seems to be using the micro USB to charge, and uh, this just plugs right into the tiny little hole there on the bottom, and then you still can use the data port for other things. So it's interesting why they chose to go with that. Not sure if that provides more power if it charges it faster or not, but that's still pretty interesting. Uh, and this looks like this is uh, your basic uh, data cable. Um, looks like micro USB here. And I'm wondering if this charges it. Uh, it. You know, if you plug this into your computer, will it actually charge the tablet? So there you go. That is uh, nuts and bolts of opening the box here for the Motorola Zoom tablet, uh, the newest competition for the iPad. Uh, time will tell if this can actually take on the iPad and the iPad 2. But uh, I'm going to get some time to, to play with this and check it out. Check out the new Android uh, 3.0 Honeycomb OS. And uh, I will write a full review on ABC15.com.